work trip time. Um, we're at the start of a new work week. Kim actually has a work trip to go on, uh, and it's to Richmond. Usually what happens is he has a buddy to go along with um, to drive up, but today it's him on his lonesome, so he asked me to come along. Uh, he it's gets, tough. He gets a little nervous driving long trips on his own just because he does get really tired. We talked a little bit about, um, in our past videos, uh, he does have binocular dysfunction, so his eyes have a hard time working together. It doesn't mean he can't do anything, but it does mean that if he's staring down the road for a long amount of time, his eyes get really tired really quickly. So what we're doing right now is he's driving, and I'm curious to see you know, if he's able to make it to Richmond with no problem. He's gonna have that meeting. He's probably gonna be exhausted after the meeting, and likely I'm gonna be the one driving home, which is okay. Uh, but it's one of those things that you won't know unless you do. And we try really hard to, you know, push a little bit just to just to see what he can do. We don't ever want to pigeonhole ourselves to say that he can't do anything. Um, we won't know unless we try, but we want to try and do it safely. I, I think I would have been nervous to let him go on the road by himself. You would probably find a way to be. I find a way and I'd have to close my eyes for a good 20 minutes yeah. right before driving back. It's a, it's a two hour drive, right? Yeah, Hopefully. two hour drive from where we live to Richmond. And you'd probably, and if you got tired on the road, would you just like pull off to the side? Or you'd uh, probably... Find a rest area or, or something. Just, yeah, somewhere to pull off. Not on the side of the road, but... Yeah, and since I have the opportunity to go, why not? And plus, I'm going to go and check out the Fine Arts Museum there to look at the Terracotta Warriors. So, they have a really cool exhibit going on right now. So and jealous. So jealous. <laughs> He's gonna work and I'm gonna go play. That's basically what's happening. You know, you live once. I might as well go see some terracotta warriors. So with these trips, you know, there's always a little bit of experimentation. A little bit of uh, finding out what my limits are and how to push them. It's nice to have Mish around, just, just in case. Um, I need a helping hand because um, I always feel safer when she's around and me now. When she's around, so um, yeah, it helps. Aww. <laughs> Anywho. I always tell Kim that he shouldn't be afraid to to at least try, um, especially if he has the safety net around him. It, I mean, it's worth it. You, you don't know, like you said, you don't you don't know your limits until you actually try and reach them or test them. Um, we obviously, we don't want to go way beyond where he's like completely exhausted and, and, and he hits that wall or that barrier and he's out for like two weeks. We want to hit it just enough, just to see. And I think when we do that, we get to build strength and, and endurance to courage. encourage and um, confidence to know that we yes. can we can do a little bit more. Richmond, 62 miles, what, what? Wiggle, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! There they are. There it is. Bye. Okay, stay straight. Sorry, yeah, that's the road. There's a lot of construction around here. Improving the roads. Road improvements. Capital improvements. All right. Let me know if you need me to drive. Time. Holy crap, it's loud in here. <laughs> loud in here, huh? You have earplugs in? Oh, you do have your earplugs in. Sweet.
So we just finished lunch. Holy crap, it was loud in there. Out of a business, business city center business crowd. I think they all just let out from lunch just now. So now we're gonna go to his meeting. Well, he's gonna go to his meeting while I go to a meeting. Oh, you wanna go to my meeting? No, I don't. <laughs> Thanks. Have fun today. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your meeting. I'm so jealous. Darn it. All right. So while Kim's doing his meeting, this is where I'm going. I don't know if you can see it. Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. Let's go. What's really cool about the terracotta warriors is that they're all each uniquely made. Sort of like a TBI. No two are alike. Oh, this is so awesome. Man. I'd say this guy probably has the most amount of detail. You can kind of tell in his outfit. The ripples in his scarf and in his pants and his shirt sleeve. As you can see with this one, he's not quite a warrior, but he is um, one of um, servant status. So every terracotta warrior that was created had a, per a particular purpose. And the idea was that they would be buried with their owner to be with them in the afterlife. I mean, even the horses were sculpted. Isn't this amazing? text from Kim yet. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> What's great about this is I get a little bit of time to myself which is nice. I don't get it that often. And I'll take it where I can get it. Wow, check out this wall. Crazy. Alright, well 
I just got done with uh, my meeting. All right. All right. All right. Did they have snacks? They didn't have any snacks. They had water. But uh, two hour meeting, it was, uh, it was quick. Uh, two hours went quick. Um, a little tired, a little sleepy. I'm driving. So I can sleep. By the way, not a fan of driving in Richmond at all. Yeah. Like so many roads closed and uh, it was a good, nice little day trip, at least for you. I got to see Terracotta. Terracotta, the, the Manicotti Warriors, the Terracotta Warriors. Ooh, it's on until March 11th. It is. And oh. We are coming back up. Our uh, TBI conference. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with seeing it twice? Yeah. All right, so we're trying to get home. Mm -hmm. Thinking about stopping somewhere and getting some chicken. I think I totally ran a tour. I I'm, totally missed it too. I'm useless driving in Richmond, yeah. for sure. Like y'all VCU peeps, I don't know how y'all, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a city girl at all. Hopefully it picked up our easy pass. I, I don't know, I kind of was going fast. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of tools where we live. Not so. used to it. We're not used to anything. Let's just be honest. All right. Okay. On our way, we gotta get. Well, we'll see. We don't we'll see. Either chicken or pick up our daughter. What's more important? I say chicken. Wait. Bye. Why are you gonna say bye? Wait. Okay. <laughs> not bye.